Hello YouTube, my name is Pretty Tough, and today I'm going to be talking about what Undead Studios should do next with State of Decay. I'm talking specifically about updates and patches. Now those of you who know who have already played the game, State of Decay 2 was to be Microsoft's console exclusive competition to PlayStation 4's Detroit Becoming Human. But in my opinion, this game has fallen short of expectations considering how highly anticipated it was. Anticipated by myself, my friends and the gaming community. Recently, they did a 20GB update to fix various gameplay issues and bugs that were bothering the gaming community. If you're unfamiliar with what they have changed, the link to the video that I've done on it, about the patch notes, is in the description below. What should they do next? Well, here is the list of my five things Undead Studios should do next with State of Decay to really make it worthy of the title of competition. Let's get into it. Number one, a difficulty option. The game is way too easy at this point. Constant scavenging keeps the resources from running out too quickly, and they will last for ages. The zombies are way too easy, unless you're in a large number of them. Then they're a challenge. Specials are too easy, all you have to do is just headshot them. You need to bring in another difficulty or something to make the game a bit more intense and a bit more interesting. Number 2. Bring back assets of the first game, like the weapons, a rare vehicle spawn, or even the favourite map of State of Decay 1. Something to thank those fans who have played the first game Number three, perhaps weather inclements, or maybe even seasons. Perhaps a choice as to what season you start in and the weather and the seasons give you bonuses. Like the spring, there are longer days and colder nights. Maybe these have a negative and positive effect on your character, the enemies, the community and vehicles. Summer, the weather is warmer so people are happier. Zombie infestations should occur more commonly because bacteria thrives in warmer temperatures. Autumn, zombies are a tad weaker, maybe your community suffers with allergens and you have to go pick up new spawns such as medication. Winter, zombies are more fragile, but so are you. Sound travels faster because snow absorbs more sound than anything else we have. Daily food intake increases because the survivors need to stay warm. However, I do know one issue with this is because of the day's survived system. Like you wouldn't go through four seasons in 14 days survived, would you? So, you know, maybe just add the weather perhaps. Number four. Please give us some new character models. All the character models are the same. I confuse people in my community to those on the outside because the picture is exactly similar. Perhaps a bit of variation please, or add some clothes, I don't know, something like that. Number five, an increased population capacity. State of Decay 1 had a massive population capacity for the communities. This is something they need to bring back because having larger communities and maybe multiple home bases at one time when you recruit an entire enclave of two to three people at least a larger resource management, but also larger resource production. Whilst it may be bigger, I'm sure it's something the State of Decay community would appreciate as this game has been anticipated for so long and fell short of expectations in my opinion. But that does not stop it from being an enjoyable game. These add-ons would certainly help with immersion and realism. So these are my opinions of what they should do next. If you agree with them, leave a thumbs up for this video, maybe pop a comment down below as to what you would like them to put into the next game. Thank you for watching, be sure to follow me on my social media, i.e. my Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, you can see all those in my channel art at the top of the screen, like, sub, share, all that shit, and I'll see you next time, bye bye.